Good morning everyone. I am Rishali Dhanokar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. In my last video, we learn about linear search algorithm and binary search algorithm. Their examples, C++ program execution and also pseudocode. Hope you have watched my previous video. Now in this video, we will learn about Fibonacci series concept. So let's see what is meant by Fibonacci series. Next. In this video, following points are covered, which includes what is Fibonacci series, their real life applications, algorithms, and also C++ dynamic program 1 and C++ recursive program, the application, and also some important questions which frequently asked in exam. So let's see what is meant by Fibonacci series. Next. Fibonacci series is invented by Leonardo da Pisa. Fibonacci is greatest European mathematician of the Middle Ages. They born in between 1170 and died in 1240. He introduced the Arabic number system in European. So what exactly Fibonacci series means? Fibonacci series is a sequence which each number is the sum of two preceding numbers. Now see here 1 plus 1 2 then 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3, 8 means sum of preceding numbers. So this series called as Fibonacci series. Clear? This is just concept of Fibonacci series, which is European series for calculation purpose. Clear? Next. Now, here are some real life applications of Fibonacci series. So uh, the petals of flowers, right? One petal, three petal means series or in sequential or same manner which can be implemented okay then also shell hurricane galaxy these are also real life examples of fibonacci series which is generally used in mathematical model or mathematical purpose clear next so uh, let's see here algorithm of fibonacci series fibonacci series generates subsequent numbers by adding two previous numbers in it Fibonacci series always starts with two numbers that is F0 or F1. Sometimes Fibonacci series start with either 0 or 1 or 1 1. Okay. But while uh, generating or implementing program, we use this series of program which is starting with 0. Clear? So 0 and 1, these are the constant number in Fibonacci series. Okay. So see here algorithm of Fibonacci series. First step, you need to uh, or while implementation there are three variables are declared while programming take an integer variable that is a b c this is the first step of your program next second step set a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 because these two numbers 0 and 1 are the constant numbers clear step 3 display a and b you need to display 0 and 1 as the output okay after that next you need to calculate a plus b and which stored into c variable okay so what is a value 0 and b value 1 0 plus 1 1 now display c now see here 0 1 1 their calculation stored into next subsequent series okay after that step 6 they use interchange property here means a equal to b and b equal to c now what is the value of a 0 but what is the value of 1 uh, b equal to 1 so 1 now stored into a and c value 1 is stored into b now again calculate 1 plus 1 2 okay in this way they repeat each and every step and change the value with preceding number with subsequent numbers okay now see here 2 plus 1 3 again 3 plus 2 5 in this way this subsequent series which addition with previous numbers are generated so this is called as fibonacci series concept clear next now see here there are two types of program while implementation of fibonacci series you have to use any type while implementation so first program is in dynamic natures okay and next program they used the concept of recursion okay now see here c++ dynamic program of fibonacci series so uh, the first are header files that is iostream.h that is input output stream these header files include the cout, scene or variables. This kind of all data types are stored into this header file. 
क्लियर नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विथ मेन फंक्शन दैट इज इंटीजर मेन ओके नेक्स्ट इंटीजर एन इक्वल टू टेन मीन्स यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट टेन फिबोनसी सीरीज नंबर सो एन इक्वल टू टेन ओके दिस इज द आउटपुट ऑफ प्रोग्राम सो दे कॉल्ड द फंक्शन फिब दैट इज फिबोनसी एंड पास द पैरामीटर एन वैल्यू ऑफ एन इक्वल टू टेन सो एट दैट टाइम दे कॉल द दिस फंक्शन सो पॉइंटर गोज टू हियर ओके सो फिबोनसी फंक्शन और फंक्शन ऑलवेज डिक्लेयर आफ्टर द और बिफोर द मेन फंक्शन ओके नाउ सी हियर वर्ड फिब इंटीजर एन ए वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज टेन वर्ड इज द रिटर्न टाइप दे रिटर्न द एक्जैक्ट आउटपुट ऑफ युअर प्रोग्राम और लॉजिक ऑफ दैट प्रोग्राम ओके सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप दे डिक्लेयर द एरे दैट इज इंटीजर एफ ऑफ एन एफ इज द नेम ऑफ द एरे एन मीन्स टेन एलिमेंट सो इन दैट एरे टोटल टेन एलिमेंट्स आर स्टोर्ड ओके देन डिक्लेयर द वन वेरिएबल दैट इज इंटीजर आई दिस ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट्स इज डिक्लेयर बाय आई ओके सो फर्स्ट एफ ऑफ जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एफ ऑफ वन इक्वल टू वन एरे स्टार्ट ऑलवेज विथ जीरो लोकेशन ओके सो आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू द फर्स्ट टू एलिमेंट्स आर कॉन्स्टेंट इन फेबोनसी सीरीज क्लियर सो एफ ऑफ जीरो द एरे नेम इज एफ द फर्स्ट लोकेशन इज जीरो सेकेंड लोकेशन इज वन ओके सो एफ ऑफ जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एफ ऑफ वन इक्वल टू वन सो दे बाय डिफॉल्ट डिक्लेयर हियर द एडिलमेंट्स आर स्टोर्ड इन टू द एरे क्लियर नाउ यू नीड टू स्टार्ट द एडिशन फ्रॉम द सेकेंड लोकेशन बिकॉज फर्स्ट टू लोकेशन आर कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू नीड टू स्टार्ट द लूप ऑफ एडिशन फ्रॉम द सेकेंड लोकेशन ओके नाउ सी हियर फॉर आई इज इक्वल टू टू मीन्स यू नीड टू स्टार्ट विथ टू i less than equal to n n means 10 so less than equal to n means nine elements are stored from 0 to 9 and incremented i plus plus clear so in this way see here first what is the value of i 2 first two elements already constant see, okay 2 minus 1 1 and 2 minus 2 0 1 plus 0 1 so next element is 1 on second location similarly okay the next one is after that 1 plus 1 2 is stored okay now again see here suppose value of i is 2 2 minus 1 1 and 2 minus sorry i is value is suppose 3 after that 2 there is 3 okay 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 2 1 2 plus 1 3 the next element 3 is stored okay again suppose i's value is 4 4 minus 1 3 4 minus 2, 2. 3 plus 2, 5. Again, 5 is stored. In this way, subsequent element additions are there. Clear? So this for loop is used for addition of previous element with subsequent element, and this for loop is used for to display the Fibonacci series. Okay? And you have to display all those numbers in an array. For that purpose, you have to start for loop from zeroth location to less than n, means from 0 to 9. Okay, less than 10 means 9, and i plus plus. Okay, so all the elements are stored into f of i. The array name is f. So they print all the Fibonacci series for display. Now this array is display. Clear? So this is the dynamic program of Fibonacci series. Next. So uh, this is the program. They use the recursion function. I already explained recursion in detail in my previous video. Hope you have watched previous video in detail. Now see here C++ recursive program of Fibonacci series. First there are header files. The program always start with main function. Okay. The there are two types of variables are used: integer x and i equal to zero. Okay. Program always start with zero. After that they use the two C out and C in. C out is used for printing purpose, and these data variables are stored into these header files okay so c out is a predefined okay so enter the number of term series how many fibonacci series numbers you have to enter or you want to enter so if you enter 15 okay so they read the 15 by using c in c in okay so a value of x equal to 15 now fibonacci series for that purpose while loop is used you have to calculate fibonacci series from 0 to less than 15 means up to 14 okay now they print one by one all the fibonacci series number by using fib function so they call the this fib function the fib function always declared outside the main function okay 
Now see here. There are simple if else statement is used and use the recursion function. Recursion means function calling itself. Okay. So integer fifth integer x. The value of x is 15. The first two numbers are constant. That is x exactly 1 and x exactly 0. Here you want to enter total 15 numbers. But sometimes if you want to enter only two numbers x equal to 1 and x equal to 0 then they return x means first two values are printed if more than two values are there then they goes to this else loop okay again same formula is used the next is 3 minus suppose x value is 3 okay means other than 0 and 1 suppose 3 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 2 1 2 plus 1 3 so next 3 is printed okay then this fifth function call again this function again check this value this condition is false then goes to else here okay so this fifth function call this fifth function up to 15 because last number or series in 15 clear in this way one by one elements of added by using recursion function means function calling itself this fun fifth function call itself again here okay so this is called recursion means c++ recursive program of fibonacci series and after execution it again goes to here and print each and every numbers up to the fibonacci series clear next so applications of scientific disciplines these are the some applications where fibonacci series concepts are used which is mainly used in mathematical model purpose for example recursive logistic map polynomial mapping recursion model development etc for all those type uh, scientific discipline Fibonacci series is used okay next there are the some important questions like explain Fibonacci series with example for four marks which frequently asked in SPPU exam pattern next hope you have uh, you will understand each and every points in that video okay so keep practicing try to implement the programs of Fibonacci series 